Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to another crafty video. Today I am going to take one of my pen pal packs that I sent to my Patreons and do like a little crafting challenge. So don't worry if you are not one of my Patreon members, um, you can still kind of use this idea as maybe like a bohemian ephemera or um, journal idea i guess okay so i already did a video showing what i sent my patreon members and i'm going to be using one of the lower tiers this is the um lily's tier i had to remember that and i'm just gonna try to use there's only like a few things okay this is the main make it's a little floating pocket which is cute but i want to make sure that my member patreon members and that you guys are inspired with like really simple items and so we're just going to use these. I might supplement with a few things and also I've been potting and <laughs> my hands might be a bit dirty stained because I've been in the dirt. Okay, so we have a postcard. We have just like a really small little piece of fabric, an embellished card and this, but I'm going to use the envelope too. So my idea, because obviously I came up with this video idea so I did kind of have it floating in my head but I still don't know what I'm going to make. I kind of want to make it like a little folder situation but I want to get like the most out of it. This is a really cute little postcard actually and I just grabbed a random um a random pack. So I think I'm just gonna go for it like when I have an idea I just want to go for it. <laughs> And we're gonna glue this on here, just on the flap. Yeah, like that. If I had two envelopes, we could make a little mini journal, but I just got this. And then this floating pocket, I was thinking could maybe go in here or I mean, it's not gonna look super bohemian. That's okay, it doesn't have to. It's gonna be cute, I guess. Let's put it on the back of this, I think. I could almost just use this adhesive, I think. Hopefully not too much is peeking out. Okay, I wanna make sure that my open pocket part is facing that way so that we can actually use it. I can actually almost now wait do we want it like peeking out at all hmm maybe but I would want to cover it with some fabric so okay we'll have it peeking out a little bit I should have probably covered it first but that's okay we'll go like that oh maybe that's a little too much whoops <laughs> oh no well we might just have to Darn, I should have made sure. Uh, that's okay. We'll we'll just I know that it was gonna bug me too much. I'm not I'm not a perfectionist, but I definitely didn't think that that looked right. So I'm just gonna add some glue and we'll just have to get it right this time. I'll even add a little bit more because it's gonna be going over. Okay, so let's figure out where I would want it to be placed like that much would be good. And then I will add, hopefully there. Yeah, I think something's crooked, but it looks okay when it's closed. So that's fine. Okay. So like I said, we'll want to use a little bit of this fabric. And so I'm just gonna trim it like that. I should probably use my actual scissors that work good on fabric. Okay, then I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that on the edge here. Okay, making sure I have the sequin side up. Whoops, it's wanting to stick to me in all sorts of different ways. doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. 
I think that'll dry down just fine. All right, so now what I can do is actually glue the rest of this postcard and actually make more sense to put the glue on the pocket part since it's smaller, hello. Okay. Go like that. Then I'm getting glue everywhere and it's like mixing in with the dirt from uh, the plants. Okay, so we'll go like that. And then, so then when we open up, we have a little pocket and I am probably gonna just grab a few things that are not from the kit, but just to show you like that you can put little things in the pockets, if that makes sense. Okay, look like that. I'll just have that kind of poking out like that. But if I was using this in a journal, I'd probably replace it with like a journaling card or like an actual picture, you know, something like that. Okay, but then, so then we have the big pocket, but we also have a little bit of fabric left, which I don't know, let me think. We already have some peeking out there. So we could almost just use this as more of a decoration kind of thing. So I'm gonna cut it in half. And even though we already have some there, let's go ahead and fold it over. There is a little fly. You are not invited to our crafting day. Thank you. And, oh my gosh. Sorry guys. Okay. Trying to get this on just right. It's such thin fabric that it's a little hard. There we go. Just staple that on there. And I think I got it like a little crooked, but it's gonna be fun. Okay, get it in the middle here and then should be okay. There we go. Okay, so we have a little tab. We have this, but we also have this little pocket. And I was thinking if we place it, if, oh, actually, no, okay, I like it like this with the gold. If we place it down here, yeah, we'll turn it into a little side pocket. Now, I'm gonna grab double-sided tape because this vellum just doesn't really love glue. It's fine if it's all you have, but it's definitely going to be a little wrinkly. So we're just going to place this on three sides. So we'll have a little side pocket. Like that. Okay. My kids have the snake out right now so I'm like listening to them to make sure they're not fighting or anything like that but it sounds like they're getting along pretty good my husband Hans is upstairs too but I'm still listening okay now we're just gonna place this down here okay Go like that. I'm just going to, again, grab something for an example, just to show that you could put some cute little items in here, little tickets or whatever you want. We'll put my little welcome card in there. So yeah, this, I mean, this would be a really cute little addition to a journal page or it's on, you know, on its own. Um, if you could leave it floating. We even have this extra little piece and I'm trying to figure out what to do other than like a tab. I wish you guys were here so you could tell me, but maybe just like a little, we can just place it on actually to have it be like a decoration. And since I don't really want that to get wet um, through the fabric, I'm gonna go like this. And place one more little X like that then it'll be all finished.
So I hope that you guys liked this little craft challenge. I'm actually filming another one of these using all of the items that I got from a recent um, Taper Lodgy haul. Is that backward? No. And I'm going to like, for that one, I'm just going to give myself like an, a time limit and see like what I can make, what I, you know, can come up with. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed these types of videos. Let me know what you think down below. There we go. And I will talk to you in the next video. Okay, bye guys.